Welcome back, everybody. This is the STEM Mini Dome guide for making audio work. We're going to work on our audio player. It's probably one of the more complicated things next to the controller that we'll do code wise to make things happen. We want sound to happen. We've got, by this point in time, hopefully if you're following this, this guide in sequence. You've, you've made some lights blink, you've moved some motors. You're like, hey, let's get the sound going. I'm with you. So I'm gonna go over the code to make the sound work. Now in the build guide, when you've downloaded, if you've downloaded any of the software, the STL files, those kind of things, in the build guide for the STL files is also where the code exists. And there's a library. Now a library is a set of code. Like we did the servo.h a little bit ago, that was already preset. Well, Arduino, you have to include libraries. So the very top of the program, you can include a library and you'll need to include the DF robot DF player dot mini library that is in our uh, uh, folder there for code. So include that in there in terms of the uh, Arduino code. So very top of the Arduino page, you'll be able to, inside the software, you'll be able to include a library, include that in there. If not, when you compile this, you'll get an error message that it's not there. So you have to download that separate. Okay. So that's on our build guide uh, where you download the STL files, the 3D files. That's where that's at. Make sure you're aware of that. Um, the other thing to be aware of when you compile the code, if you are uh, plugged into to pins zero and one, the serial pins that are on the board, uh, if once you upload code that's using those, it'll continue to use those until we put interrupts in. So you may have to unplug those two pins, upload the co code and plug in pin zero and one on the serial port to get the sound to work. Now that's because the serial port is being utilized after the first upload. That will not be an issue after you get the controller working, but for now, you'll have to move those. That's particularly the case if you are um, not putting in the back two switches that basically turn off sound. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. <laughs> if not, let me know. I'll happy to explain that uh, through email or any other way. Here's the code to make the player play, the, the 3D player to make happen. So hopefully you've got that wired up. You've placed sound on the SD card. The MP3s are on there. You've got it in there and you're ready to rock and roll. Hopefully everything's wired up successfully. So we've got a few new lines of code. First, we're going to include this new library, DF robot, DF player mini.h. This is the library that's in our code that will reference the library that you added into the Arduino software from the download we talked about a second ago. After that, before we get to set up, this is a long word. It's just long. DF robot player many is long. Uh, that's what references these two things. So I just created an object by typing that in space and typed in player. So now I don't have to type that in every time, that variable. I, I can now just type in player, which is what I'm doing here. So now when I get the void set up, I'm going to use player.begin serial. I want our serial pins to be activated because I'm going to use serial for our communication. Now, the MP3 player needs serial to begin. So serial.begin is the, a uh, function that allows us to change the baud rate or the rate of communication between the MP3 player and our computer. So 9600 is what it's one. So that's what I'm going to set that to. Once I do that, it's really simple. All we really have to do is put in player.play someplace in our loop, anywhere we want to, and give it a number. One is the first MP3 uh, audio track. Two is the second MP3 audio track that you put on the SD card. So for example, I have player.play five. That's the fifth audio track that is on the little SD card. So once I do that and I upload that, push that to the Arduino, boom, I should have sound. And it will just continually to repeat that sound. So I would encourage you to add that in there and make sure that works. Now, I have some additional guidance in the build guide on getting the audio to work. If that is a struggle, sometimes it is. You have to upload those files a certain way. But player.play is all we have to type in to get it to work inside our loop. Enjoy the audio. If you got a bunch of domes doing this at one time in a lab, it gets noisy and I'm sorry. So 
put in different numbers in there to call different audio tracks. You can have more player dot plays in other places. So you can have something play at the beginning, wait six seconds, something else new play. Fantastic. So enjoy that. I'll have a video on how to control all of this using a remote control uh, on my next video. Thank you.